डियर लर्नर माई सेल्फ पवन कुमार असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर कंप्यूटर आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी नैनीताल टुडे टॉपिक इज सी एस एस इम्पोर्टेड सी एस एस कास्केडिंग रूल्स एंड ऑर्डर रूल्स सो द लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव इज सी एस एस सेलेक्टर इम्पोर्टेड स्टाइल सीट सी एस एस रूल स्ट्रक्चर ऑर्डर ऑफ प्रेसिडेंस सो द सी एस एस ग्रुपिंग सेलेक्टर ऑल एस एम एल एलिमेंट डेट शेयर द सेम स्टाइल्स आर चूजन बाई द ग्रुपिंग सेलेक्टर सो इन दिस एग्जाम्पल लुक एट द सी एस एस कोड द एच वन एच टू एंड पी एलिमेंट हैव द सेम स्टाइल डेफिनेशन इन एच वन वी सी डैट टैक्स अलाइन इज सेंटर एंड कलर इज रेड इन एच टू टैक्स अलाइन इज ऑल्सो सेंटर्ड एंड कलर इज रेड इन पी द टैक्स अलाइन इज सेंटर्ड एंड कलर इज रेड टू रिड्यूज द अमाउंट ऑफ कोड ग्रुपिंग द सेलेक्टर विल बी बेटर सो हियर वी टेक एच वन एस टू पी एंड वी टेक टैक्स अलाइनमेंट इज सेंटर्ड एंड कलर इज रेड सो इन दिस कोड वी बेटर अंडरस्टैंड द टॉक टाइप एस टी एम एल टैग दैन वी टेक एस टी एम एल टैग दैन हेड टैग इन स्टाइल टैग वी टेक एच वन एच टू एंड पी दैन वी डिफाइन टैक्स अलाइन इज सेंटर्ड एंड कलर इज रेड वी क्लोज द स्टाइल टैग एंड हेड टैग इन बॉडी वी टेक एच वन टैग द कंटेंट इज हेलो वर्ल्ड एंड वी क्लोज द एच वन In S2 tag, we take a smaller heading and we close the S2 tag. In lastly, in P tag, we take uh, content. This is a paragraph. We close the P. After that, we close body and HTML tag. So we see that the output of the whole program is hello world, which is in red color, and align is center. and the next heading is in also in red color and in red color and in center line and the next is imported style sheet we can import additional css file inside another css declaration this is accomplished by using the addRed import rule which links a style within a documents when one style sheet is dependent upon another this is a typical utilized after the adderate character set declaration inside the document header it is stated in head tag this rule also supported media queries so that the user can import the media dependent style sheet after any character set declaration the import rule must be expressed at the beginning of the text next is imported style sheet so syntax is following is the syntax for import rule we take at the rate import url of list of media queries so example so we let's see the example we take doc type html tag then html tag then head tag in head tag we see that style type is text or css at the rate import we take here url style dot css in body we take background color is honeydew and then we close the style and head tag in body section we take p this is p tag this is a demo one in next p class is equal to 2 and here we take this is a demograph 2 and next is p tag this is a demograph 3 and then we close the body and html so in css document style dot css we take p here color is navy font style is italic in two we take color is dark green and font size is 
24 pixel so we take we, we saw the we that output is of this program is this is demo in blue color and this is demo 2 in italic and this is demo in also in blue color so next is css rule structure if more than one style rule matches against a specific element css specify a priority mechanism to de determine which style rule should taken precedence priorities or weight are determined and allocated to rules in this so called cascade making the outcome predictable so order of precedence we take our order in precedence in positions so firstly here we take position selector matches cascade from top to di uh, down direction later rules take later rules take precedence over the earlier one when an element is subjected to more than one of the same selector final rule that use the same selected in css rule processing is picked so in example simple internal css we take color blue red and in next we take color blue so we and finally in p tag hello i am in blue not red so the output is hello i am in not red color because the order of precedence is second which which have color blue next is specificity to rule 6 to style the html p element there p class is equal to para in this section we take uh, we take my beautiful para with b blue and we close the p tag in the css the cascade rule states that the final rules rule must prevail but because the selector is less precise than the first one the first rule is used instead p dot para the color blue i will win because i am the most specific rule in next we take p color is red i want it red i am the last one according to cascade rules i must win but unfortunately i am less specific then i lose so here we see that the last one is not take because the specificity was the para color have blue so the output is my beautiful para graph will be blue so with the help of this example we better understand the specificity as an example we have added a class selector called test and given it color the green despite given the element selector p a red color the test will now be green the class selector is higher precedence as a result so here we in this example we see that firstly we take doc type html tag then html tag then head tag and in style tag we define we take class test and we here we take color is green in p we take color is red so after that we close the style and head tag and body tag so in p class equal to test and the content is hello world so the output is hello world but it is have color green not red as an example the id selector which is called demo has been added now the id selection is given higher precedent the text will be blue so in this example we see that doc type 
we take doc type html tag then html tag then head tag then style tag we define the demo the color is blue and in next is class test color is green and sim simply we take p the color is red so we see that the id demo have higher specificity so it win finally we close the style tag head tag and in body tag we have p id equal to demo class is equal to test in this we the, the content is hello world and finally we close the body tag html tag so we see that the output in blue color because the id selector has higher priority so next is important and important rules has priority over a regular statement its syntax is important after a normal declaration here we see that in p section we take color aqua and and the priority is important so example without the important rule with a normal declaration in this we take p color is aqua and next in p we take color red so hello in p tag we define hello i am red because i am red the output is i am red next in this example with important rule if we we apply important rule in aqua section then and in p color is aqua and we apply important and next is in p we do not apply important so color is equal to red in p hello i am aqua so we finally we see that the output is hello i am red in aqua color because the priority is important in color aqua the important rule will really supersede all earlier styling rules for that particular property on that element if you use it let examine an illustrations here we take id my id background color is blue in next my class background color is gray in simply p background color is red and we take important priority so in this code we take doc type html tag then html tag then head tag in style tag we we take my id background is blue in my class background color is gray in p tag we take background color is red but we have apply important so we close the style and head in body we take p this is some text in paragraph finally we take p class equal to my class and we take content this is some text in a paragraph finally we take id equal to my id this is some text in paragraph so the or when we then we close the body and html so the output is some text in paragraph with background color is red and in next line the some text in paragraph will also have background color in red and finally third this is some text in paragraph will also have background color in red we see that all the background color have red it uh, includes another rule in its place if you want to override a critical one essential rules on a declaration in the source code that has the same or greater specificity this is where the issue begin this make the css code unclear and debugging will be challenging especially if your style sheet is big here we have a straight forward example when examine the source code it unclear which color is deemed to be most significant so here the background color is blue important in my class 
background color is gray important in p background color is red important we see we see that in all we use priority important so in this example we see that duct type html html tag head tag in style tag we define my id background color is blue and we apply the rule important in my class background color is gray and we imply important in p background color is red and we imply important and we close the style and close the head tag uh, in body we define p this is some text in paragraph in p class equal to my class in this uh, the content is this is some text in a paragraph in p id equal to my id this is some text in a paragraph then we close the body in html and then we so and we see that the output is this is some text in paragraph which have red background and this is some text in paragraph have, have blue background so because all background color have priority so it is take all the priority in order of precedence thank you